That's the least secure security footage I've ever seen. Yeah, that's not even the strangest thing she made happen. I mean, I slipped on a barrel of marbles. It was like I was in a cartoon. That's some seriously bad luck. Yeah, no such thing as luck. Yeah? Tell that to my cousin Hector. He got jinxed by an ex. Hasn't been able to find a mall parking spot for three years. Hey, so we ran the sketches you made us through the CCP database, and... Her name's Becky Sharp. She's 24 years old, no priors. No priors? Then why is she in the database? Because in the last three years she's lived in Central City, she's been rear-ended four times, her identity stolen twice. A cat burglar literally burgled her cat. <laughs> okay, you see, Harry, that is bad juju. Okay, Ramon, when you call juju, I call quantum entanglement. Discrete quantum particles are connected, and when triggered, they simulate a synchronicity that to the untrained eye, to the common eye, could seem like luck. So if Becky can affect the particles around her in a positive way, then their connected particles start spinning negatively. So when good things happen to her, bad things happen all around her. Great. She's got a good luck field. Susan Meta. Well, except she can't be. I mean, she's only been in Central City for three years. Yeah, so there's no way she was affected by the particle accelerator explosion. Well, neither was Kilgore. We saw firsthand what he could do. Not to sound like a broken record, but where the hell are all these new metas coming from? You know what? Maybe the scanners in the suit pick something up. You said you took all the tech out. OK, well, I left something in. OK, sue me. Wow. Cecile needs me at the house. You guys let me know what you find out, all right? All right. There. Yeah, I, I see it, OK? Yeah, the suit definitely registered trace amounts of dark matter on Becky. So if there was another dark matter incident... We need to figure out how and where it happened.